Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm back with another video, and this one, I just thought, you know, I just want to do a chill, laid-back video, not going to anything too heavy today. And I thought, you know, it's been a while since so you've taken a look at the Blu-ray collection. I haven't been buying a lot of Blu-rays lately, it's just a matter of the fact that I have most of the movies I want now. So... This pile in front of me here, this is just what I've bought over the past few months, I would say. And I thought, you know, why not do a little Blu-ray collection update? I know I stole a lot of movies, but, you know, this channel is just about talking about stuff I like. And I know you guys like talking about Blu-rays as well. So I thought, you know, let's just do a Blu-ray update video. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say. Let's just jump into it. All right, so we've got a 4K here, got a couple of Blu-rays, and I've got a couple of DVDs. So, you know, nice little bit of variety for this video. And we'll start off at the top with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem on 4K Blu-ray. Definitely one of the best animated movies from last year. Now it's one of my favourite animated movies ever. I think it was a genius idea for someone to basically just say, let's just do Ninja Turtles, but we'll give them the Spider-Verse treatment. And it definitely worked. Although I gotta admit, I do appreciate that this movie didn't just straight up, straight up rip off like Spider-Verse's art style. This movie has a very distinct style behind it. It's like messy and gross and slimy and gritty. Like some of the animation just looks straight up ugly, but it's a choice of style. And it really sets itself apart from other animated movies I've seen lately. And just looks awesome too. Animation always looks great on 4K Blu-ray. It's probably one of the best things you can buy on 4K. Because, you know, animators, they love their job. They just fill every scene with so much detail and it's beautiful to see. The characterization of the turtles in this movie to their actual teenagers, all their designs are distinct, personalities are distinct, love what they did with Splinter, and, you know, getting a TMNT movie that actually focuses purely on mutants, it's a nice change from what we've gotten for the past few years, and in my opinion, this is definitely a step up from the live-action movies. Personally, I think this is my favourite Ninja Turtles movie. I like it even more than TMNT. But, uh, yeah, great 4K, great movie. Probably the best thing I've picked up recently. If you haven't got it and you like this movie, highly recommended. Four. Here's a good one. End of Watch. I think I am actually going to make a video about this movie because I love it. If you haven't seen this movie, it's basically, well, it's a cop movie, but it's probably the best cop movie ever made. It's directed by David Ayer, which, you know, it's the guy that did that Tank movie, Fury, which I also love, and he wrote Training Day, and he also made that first Suicide Squad movie, so, you know, he's hit and miss, but this movie is probably his best, and it's excellent. Again, the realism just really sells this movie. Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena are great in it. I think it might be the best performances they both give ever. And, yeah, the Blu-ray is solid. Although, one weird thing about this <laughs> copy... This is... I bought this secondhand. This is, like, old. This is an old Blu-ray now. But there's two discs in here. There's a disc for a digital copy that you have to put in your computer and you put this code in. I mean, you know, I didn't try this code because I don't want a digital copy, but it, like, expired, like, 10 years ago. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen that before. I just thought it was weird. And, you know, you got the standard Blu-ray in there. But, uh, yeah. End of Watch. Like I said, best cop movie of all time. Great action movie. And it's been long overdue to take a spot in my collection, so I'm glad I finally have it here. Oh, here's a special one. Big Trouble in Little China, the Arrow Video release. Uh, I don't usually go in on boutique labels like this, but this one I found it for like 20 bucks on eBay and I hadn't seen Big Trouble yet. 
And, you know, the standard Blu-ray isn't super cheap either, so I saw all this and I just bought it immediately. Um, I like this movie. It's fun, it's very of its time, but I wouldn't call it Carpenter's best, personally. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it, and Kurt Russell is fucking great in this movie, but it's not an all-timer for me like I know it is for a lot of other people. Cool thing about this release, too, is... Double-sided artwork, and, you know, we've got a little arrow video insert in here for Wild Things. Actually, really like that movie. But, uh, yeah, there's a disc. But we also have... Another side of artwork in there. I think that's the standard cover, but I'm a bigger fan of what we have on the front here. But, yeah, arrow video... I think this might be the... Uh, do I have... Okay, no, I might have a copy of True Romance on our video down there. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to check. But, um, yeah. Our video. I like their stuff. And, honestly, I've been thinking about picking up their version of Robocop for a little while now. And after seeing what they've done here, I might actually get around to doing that now. But, yeah. Big Trouble in Little China. John Carpenter. You can't go wrong. It's a classic. Oh, now we're getting into some DVDs. I know, I still buy DVDs. Who would have thought? But um, these next two are a... There's a special reason why I bought them on DVD. I'll get into that. But first up... Punch Drunk Love. Adam Sandler's best performance, hands down. The guy sells himself incredibly short in most movies because he is capable of pulling off spectacular performances. I mean, this movie comes to mind instantly when you just think of, maybe not classic Adam Sandler movies, but I think his best films. For me, it's a classic Adam Sandler movie, though. I think it might even be my favourite. And, uh, yeah, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. I know people love PTA, but he's really hit or miss for me. I've seen There Will Be Blood. I've seen The Master with Joaquin Phoenix. I'm not a particularly big fan of either of those movies. I just don't think they really connect with me. I did really like Licorice Pizza, though. So, you know, I'm not saying he's a bad director. I'm just saying that all of his movies really hit with me. But this one does. Just a bizarre, beautiful movie. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I just really like this one. And, uh, so, okay. The reason I bought this on DVD instead of Blu-ray was I don't know if this movie ever got a standard Blu-ray release. I think it only got a normal DVD release. But there is a Criterion Collection Blu-ray. And I could have bought that. It's widely available. But Criterion Blu-rays are very, very expensive. I only have one Criterion disc in my entire collection and it's following on DVD because I could not find a copy of that in any other form. And, you know, I saw this on the Criterion Blu-ray and I thought, I really like that movie. I want to get it, but it's expensive. Oh, it's on DVD for like a quarter of the price. I'll get it on, I'll get it on DVD. Easy fix. But, uh, yeah. Although, I will say, I bought this secondhand, and, uh, it's a little rough around the edges, a lot of scuffs on the cover here. I think someone's gone and drawn on the side in, like, marker there. It's a bit discoloured, and honestly, the disc, I'm not gonna pull them out and show you. There's, it's a two-disc special edition, but both of those discs are scratched to hell. I played them through the other day just to check and make sure they were all good. They still play, but, damn... They look rough. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to rewatching this one. And, you know, give DVDs some love, man. They were the king for the longest time before Blu-rays came along. And they still hold up. Alright, and the last one here. Before Midnight. I actually haven't watched this yet. I have not seen this movie. I love Before Sunrise, and I love Before Sunset, and I've been meaning to watch this movie for a long, long time. And I figured, you know, it was the final film in the trilogy. 
I'll get it on disc so I can really just savor it and watch it. Again, I bought this on DVD because... Okay, I think there is a standard Blu-ray release of this movie, but it's incredibly expensive. And the only other option for buying the trilogy in general is the Criterion Edition, which are both ridiculous... Well, not ridiculously expensive. They're Criterion Disc. You pay for the quality. But, you know, I would much rather just pay the smaller price for the DVD. And, you know, now I've got this. I really should go back and buy those first two on this as well, you know, have the whole trilogy on my shelf, because these are movies that I really do want to revisit time and time again. And, uh, yeah. That's everything. Just pull it in the frame a little bit there. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Again, I know this is a weird sort of little video, but, you know, Sometimes I just like to sit down behind the camera and just talk about movies. And these videos give me a good excuse. And this way, you know, my collection stays updated. But, uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. The channel is doing really well lately. I want to thank you all for that once again. And, you know, still going to have more videos coming out. We're just plugging away with it. But, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for today. So... Thank you guys for watching, look after yourselves, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.